Hello, my name is Julie and welcome to my channel and in this video I'm going to show you how to make this basket. It is made with two strands held together and a size eye hook. I used end up two skeins. This is the second skein of the Super Saver Stripes in the lot it's the latte stripe so i end up using two of these along with a pounder you carry on one pounder cake and i still look like i still like i have half a pound left for this so i can probably make another basket with that so without further ado let's get started on making this basket get started you will need I'm using a size eye hook for stitch markers I'm using some size 4 weight yarn or specifically I'm using some stripes this one is in a latte stripe I got this one is pound of love by yarn inspirations start to make and then obviously you'll need scissors and yarn needle so I'm putting the two strands together I'm gonna make a magic ring chain one and I'm gonna put eight single crochets into this magic ring so that's one two Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Pull my ring shut. All right, next stitch. I am working, I'm not joining, I'm working in continuous rounds. Three single crochets in the next stitch. This is going to form the corner of one of our baskets. This is where we're going to use our stitch markers. I'm going to put the stitch marker in the middle of the chain three or the second single crochet of that chain three. Next stitch, one single crochet. Next stitch, I'm going to do three single crochets. Again, I'm going to use my, one of my other stitch markers. Put that in this middle or the second single crochet. Then one single crochet in the next stitch. Okay, next in the next stitch, we're going to do three single crochets. Again, we're going to put our, a marker into the second single crochet. We're going to do one single crochet in the next stitch. Three single crochets in the next one. And this we are making our last corner. And finally, 
finally our last single crochet. I'm going to do one single crochet. Okay, now we pretty much start and establish our base. We have stitch markers in our corners. So that's what we are going to be working in. I'm still working in continuous rounds. All right, so then now we're going to make one single crochet in our stitch here. And we have reached a marker. We're going to do three single crochets in that marked stitch. And then we're going to put our marker back again into the second single crochet of that three single crochet cluster. And then we're going to do a single crochet in each stitch until we reach our marker. And we are the next marker. We're doing three single crochets where that marked stitch was. And then one single crochet in each stitch until we get the mark to our next marker. Again, three single crochets in that marked stitch. Stitch marker back in the second one for our corner. Single crochet in each stitch until we get to our again next marker. Three single crochets. Go back into our mark stitch. And then we do one single crochet again until we reach our marker. Alright, that's it for our base. You just repeat that, what we just did all the way around until I had my base measured about 10 inches, and I, which means it's about a total of 120 stitches for our base, so which, which will have 30 on each side. So I will meet up with you when I have 130 stitches around for our base. I got my base at 120 stitches. So that's the 30 stitches from where my marker is till up to the next marker on each side. And now it's time to make the base. Okay, I am just going to just single crochet around just to get around the corner. Because I didn't want to start. The corner. 
So I'm just going to slip stitch into the next stitch. All right, so now to make our base or the bottom edge, we're going to crochet around. We're not going into the loops. We're going to go around. The single crochet, so we're going around it to kind of make this bottom edge. So we're going, if you can see, we're going around the single crochet. I don't know if it's kind of like a front post type thing, but we're going to crochet it around them, each one around and we're, it's, we're, we're creating this this edge and we're going to do that all the way around like no increases we're just going to go around each of the 120 stitches around and I will meet up with you when I get back to the to the end here okay I finished going around my base doing single crochets around my single crochets to make this edge to start the side of the basket. Now all you're doing is a single crochet. In each single crochet around, I am still now back to working continuous rounds and just keep track of where the beginning of the round was and I'm just going to keep doing single crochets until I have the height of my basket is about nine inches or to the height you would like your basket. So I will meet up with you when my basket is about nine inches tall. I'm at a corner and I'm going to single crochet in the next eight stitches. Six. Seven and eight. All right, and now I'm going to chain fourteen. Chain 14. Now I am going to skip 14. Ten, 12, 13, and 14. Single crochet back. In the next stitch, that stitch, and then I'm going to single crochet. I guess there's like was eight left in one side. And then the 30 from the other side, and then another 8, which is a total, including this first one, 46 stitches. So I'm going to single crochet another 45 stitches, and then we're going to form the other handle. Okay, I have chained my 46 single crochets. Now I'm back around on the other side. And so then we're going to chain another 14. That's one, two, three, four. Now see, we're going to skip another 14 here. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
So we would single crochet in another 38 and then we're back at the beginning of where our round of where we started. All right, so I had single crocheted back up to my chain 14 space. We're just gonna do 14 single crochets into that space. And then we're gonna do the same when you get to the other side of the handle. Okay, so I'm gonna do 14 single crochets into the space and in the other handle, we'll single crochet around and the other side in the handle. And then you follow, I did, and then maybe after that, you'll do two more rounds of single crochet before we would finish off our basket. Okay, I have done two more rounds for my basket and I am ready to finish this off. All I'm gonna do is slip stitch into the next stitch. And then I'll finish off and hide in my tail. And that will be the end of our basket. There you have it. Completed basket. If you did like this tutorial, please give it a like. And if you want to see more content like this, please subscribe to my channel. And I want to thank you for watching. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye now.